Dear students, welcome to EPG Patachala. I am Professor Tyagarajan, the head of the Department of Sanskrit, Presidency College, Chennai. Today, we are going to have a discourse on dramas of Kalidasa, Bhavuti and others which forms the part of uh, the paper Indian Aesthetics and Fine Arts. In this module, we are going to see the place of Basa, Kalidasa, Sri Harsha, Bhavuti, Sudraka, Vishagadatta, Bhattanarayana and also about the allegorical dramas in Sanskrit. In the previous modules, we have discussed about the origin of the Sanskrit drama and afterwards different types of Sanskrit drama. We came to know about it in the previous module. There are about 10 types of Sanskrit dramas and the details also we had already seen. Today, we are going to see the 13 plays of Basa. Basa is considered to be the best dramatist who is the predecessor of Kalidasa. His dramas are fine and he is held as a person who contributed more number of dramas. Basa, Saumilla and Kaviputra as three, the earliest of dramas that are available are the 13 plays of Basa. The greatest of the Sanskrit poets, Kalidasa mentions in the prologue of his drama, Malakakakni Mitram, about them. Till 1921 AD, Basa was known to the world only as the author of a drama, Sopna Vasavadatta in 1921 AD. One Mr. Ganapati Shastri of Kerala unearthed a bundle of manuscripts consisting 13 dramas including Sopna Vasavadatta. After a close study of the 13 dramas, Mr. Shastri proved that all the 13 dramas were written by Basa. These 13 dramas are popularly known as the Trivandrum plays. The 13 dramas of Basa are Prithima Nataka, Abhishek Nataka, Balacharita, Madhyamaya Vyayoga, Pancharatra, Dhuta Vakya, Dhuta Gatautkacha, Karnabhara, Urubanga, Swapnavasavadatta, Pritigya Yogandarayana, Daridra Charudatta, and Abhimaraka. Of the 13 dramas, the two dramas, Pratima Nataka and Abhishek Nataka, are based on the Ramayana story. Pratima Nataka in seven acts describes the incidents in the life of Rama beginning with this exile of Rama and ending with the coronation. Bharata understands on arriving at Ayodhya that his father was dead by seeing a statue. Pratima of his father placed along with the statues of the earlier kings of Surya Vamsha. Hence, the play acquires the title Pratima Nataka. In this drama, Basa has enriched the character of Rama, Bharata and Kaikeyi. Here, Kaikeyi has been portrayed as one possessed of very good heart and character. The Abhishek Nataka in six acts depicts the story of Rama from the death of Valin up to Rama's coronation at Ayodhya. Pancharatra, Madhyamaya Yoga, Dhuta Vakya, Dhuta Gatotkaja, Karnabhara and Urubanga are based on the epic Mahabharata. Pancharatra in three acts describes Duryodhana's promise to fulfill the desire of his preceptor Drona, who demands the grant of half the kingdom of Pandavas. If the Pandavas who were in Ajnathavasa could be found out before five nights. When the presence of the Pandavas was found out, Duryodhana agrees to abide by his word. His Dutavakya in one act deals with Lord Krishna's unsuccessful mission 
to Kauravas on behalf of the Pandavas. Karnabara again in one act describes Karna's generous gift of his own Kavacha and Kundala to Dra, which ultimately was responsible for his death. Urbanga, another one act drama, shows the maze fight between Bhima and Duryodhana and the king of the later by the former striking at his thighs with his mace. Basa's Balacharita in five acts describes the birth and sportive exploits of Lord Krishna described in Srimad Bhagavata, Vishnu Purana and Harivamsa. Basa's other four plays are based on social plot. His Pratigya Yogandarayana in five acts deals with the fulfillment of the promise undertaken by Yogandarayana, the minister king of King Udena in effecting the marriage of Vasavadatta, daughter of Pradyota with Udena. Daridra Charudatta describes in five acts the love of a Brahmin Charudatta for a courtesan Vasantasena. Abhimaraka, another social play in six acts, describes the secret love between Kurangi, the daughter of Kuntiboja, and Prince Abhimaraka, who lost his princely dignity owing to the effect of a curse. At last, the identity of the prince was revealed by sage Narada and the marriage of the loving pair was celebrated. The 13 plays attributed to Basa reveal Basa as an eminent dramatist. His eminence was recognized by the great dramatist Kalidasa and prose writers Bana and Dandil. Now, after seeing Baza's uh, dramas, we will go into Kalidasa's place. See, Baza, as I told you, very, the predecessor of Kalidasa, has uh, depicted the scenes in a very easy way. And uh, he uses the striking sentences in all his dramas. It is so easy also to read. Therefore, the students of Sanskrit or the persons who are interested in Sanskrit, if they want to develop the Sanskrit language, first they must read some dramas of Basa. And especially Pratima Nataka is very much interesting and easy also for the learners. I would like to quote one Striking example, a verse written by Basa from the Pratima Nataka. Bharata was in his uncle's house when Dasarta was dead in Ayodhya. After coming from the uncle's house, Bharata sees his mother's and he gets angry with Kaikeyi, his own mother, who he understands was the cause of the death of Dasharatha. When Bharata stands before the statue house there, where Dasharatha's statue was kept along with the departed souls of their ancestors, he looks at Kaikeyi and says, Mama Matuscha Matuscha Madhyastha Kim Nashobase. Ganga Yamaniyor Madhye Kunadiva Prakash Praveshita. Which means, see, there is there are three mothers for me. See, Kaikai is in the middle. Kaushalya is at the left. And Sumitra is uh, at the right side. After seeing them, he says, Mama Matuscha Matuscha, in between two mothers of mine, you are standing in the middle. And why you are not able to smile and shine? You are very much like a foul water, just a foul stream entering in between Ganga and Yamuna. So, attributing the sanctity to both Kaushalya and Sumitra, he is calling his own mother Kaikeyi as the foul stream because of the anger that he has for the sake of, because Kaikeyi caused the death of Dasharta, his father. Now coming to Kalidasa, the place of Kalidasa, 
ஹி இஸ் தி ஆத்தர் ஆஃப் மாளவிகா கிரிமித்திரம் விக்ரம ஊர்வசியம் அண்ட் சாக்குத்தலம் அண்ட் இன் தி மாளவிகா கிரிமித்திரம் யூ ஃபைண்ட் தி டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி மேரேஜ் ஆஃப் மாளவிகா அண்ட் அக்னிமித்ரா A historical personage. Agnimitra is a person who is uh, talked about in the history also. Who belonged to Sungam dynasty. Next. The marriage of Urvusi. Uh, uh, prior to this, I would like to just uh, say a few words about Malavika Agnimitra. In this Malavika Agnimitra only, Kalidasa says, Natyam Bidnaruchayake Bhagudap Yekam Samaralakam. This dance... a drama is just like a, a samaradhana aradhana offering for the people belonging to different tastes because it comprises of all the things music dance everything and only in this drama he says puranam ityeva na sadhu sarvam it's a popular quote புராணம் இத்தியேவ ந சாது சர்வம் அச்சாபி காவியம் நவமித் அவத்தியம் சந்தகா பரீட்ச அந்நதரத் பஜந்தே மூடகா பரப்பிரத்யனே புத்தி ஹி சேஸ் சிம்பிளி பிகாஸ் சம் வர்ஸ் ஆர் ஓல்டு யூ கே நாட் டேக் இட் டு பி குட் திங்ஸ் புராணம் இத்தியேவ ந சாது சர்வம் அச்சாபி காவியம் நவம் இத்திய வத்தியம் யூ ஷுட் நாட் சிம்பிளி டிஸ்கார்ட் தி நியூ poetries or the dramas because it happened to be new santaha pariksha anyadarat bajante the people the intelligent people always examine whether it is a good thing or bad thing and then come to the conclusion only the bad people men of bad taste they alone are led by the views of others so it is a general instruction also that uh, one should not be moved by the view of others one should have one's own conclusion in any matter and as we got chakuntalam it is an excellent work written by kalidasa kalidasa so it has been hailed very much by the westerners too as the best drama ya srishti srishtu radya dahadi vidigutam yahavir yachahotri ஏத்வே காலம்பிதத்தா ஸ்ருதி விஷயகுணா யாசிதா வியாப்பிய விஸ்வம் யாமாகு சர்வபீஜ பிரகிருதி ஏவையா பிராணினா பிராணவந்தா அவதுனா பிரத்யட்சாபி ஹட்டாபி திஸ் ஏ மங்கள ஸ்லோகா யூஸ்டு பை காளிதாசா காலிங் சிவஹ ஹஸ் ஹேவிங் எயிட் லிம்ஸ் of natural things like uh, eat uh, prithvi up tejas vayu and all the life givers so chakuntalam is a, she is held as the as i told you is the best drama there is a saying kavyeshu natakam ramyam tatra ramya sakuntala tatra bi chaturthongah chatra shloka chaturthayam see among the kavyas nataka is considered to be beautiful kavyeshu natakam ramyam tatra ramya sakuntala see among the dramas sakuntalam happens to be the best drama tatra api chaturthongah it is said that the even in sakuntalam the fourth act happens to be this beautiful act tatra shloka chaturthayam even in that fourth act four shlokas very very important shlokas so melting shlokas so such tributes are given to sakuntala now we will come to vikram urushiyam of kalidasa the marriage of urushi the heavenly nymph with the king pururavas is described by kalidasa in his vikram urushiyam a play in five acts the heavenly nymph urushi was carried away by a demon was rescued by king pururavas they fell in love with each other and after her returned to heaven Urusi paid a secret visit to her lover. Once Urusi, while playing an important role in a drama, staged before gods, committed a mistake by mentioning the name Pururavas instead of Lord Vishnu. Thereupon, she was cursed to live 
on the mortal world along with her lover for some time. She came down to the earth and enjoyed the company of her lover. When the time for her return to her original abode came, the king, unable to bear her separation, decided to live in the forest. At that time, sage Narada comes and informs that Urusi can live with her lord during his lifetime. The story of Dushyanta and Chakuntala, the foster daughter of sage Kadwa, found in the Mahabharata epic, is the subject matter of his internationally reputed drama, Abhigyana Chakuntala, consisting of seven acts. Now, we are coming to Sri Harsha. Harshavardhana, popularly known as Sri Harsha or Harshadeva, was the king of Staneshwar between 606 and 645 AD. He was himself a poet and also pattern of poets prominent among whom were Bana, Mayura and others. Ratnavali, Priyadarshika and Nagaanandam are the three dramatic words ascribed to him. This Harsha is different from the Harsha of Nishadi Yacharita. His Ratnavali and Priyadarshika are Natikas. We have in the earlier module, I have seen the differences between a yeah, Nataka and Natika. Now it is Natika, play, which means that more number of women characters participate. It is in four acts written on the model of Kalidasa's Malavaka Mitra. In Ratnavali, Harsha describes the marriage of Udena of Kaushambi with Sagarika, the prince of Ceylon. Sagarika, who was imprisoned by Vasavadatta, Udena's chief queen, for her intimacy with Udena, was released by Udena through the help of a magician. Happy union between lovers is made by a message from Ceylon king referring Sagarika as his daughter. His Priyadarshika, another Dantika in four acts, describes the love of King Udena with the princess Aranyaki. The plot is similar to the plot in Ratnavali and Malvika Akhnimidra. His Nagananda is a full-fledged Nataka in five acts. The play describes the self-sacrificing spirit of Jumuta Vahana, a Vidyadara prince. This drama was probably written after his conversion to Buddhism. The hero offers his life to Garuda in exchange for the life of a serpent. Service to parents, that is Pitrususurusha, Paropakara and non-violence or Ahimsa are the ideals stressed in the play, the predominant sentiment is Shanta. Harsha, when compared to other dramatists, is not clever at the plot, he is diligent in borrowing the plot from others and shaping them to suit to his needs. Among his two love plays, Ratnavali stands better through his graceful treatment of sentiment. His Nagartha does not rise to high level as drama. Now coming to the dramas of Bhavaputi, he is also an excellent writer. He was a court poet of King Eshavarman of 700 AD. Malati Madhava, Mahavira Charita and Uttar Ram Charita are the three dramas written by him. From the prologues of his dramas, it is clear that his original name was Srikanta and that he acquired the title Bhavabhuti through his devotion to Lord Shiva. Mahavira Charita, probably his first drama in seven acts, deals with the story of Ramayana from Sita's marriage to Rama's coronation. Many incidents like Bodhi do it between Rama and Parashurama, Surpanaka episode, Valivada, etc., described in the epic are found here also. The long speeches introduced by the dramatists in the conversational type more the effect of the play. The Bodhi do it between Rama and Parashurama is described in two full acts. This play is considered wholly and dramatic. Malati Madhava, a Prakarna type, that is, uh, the plot itself is invented by the poet, is in 10 acts, describing the circumstances that led to the marriage of Madhava, son of Devaratha, minister of the king of Vidarbha, and Malati, the daughter of Buri Vasu, minister of the king of the city Padmavati. It also describes the marriage of Makaranda, a friend of Madhava, with uh, Madhayantika, a friend of Malati. In spite of many beautiful detached scenes, the drama is not very attractive. The plot is badly knitted together. Influence of Kalidasa's Vikramorusia and Meghaduta is noticed in this play. Bhavabhuti's third and the best drama, Uttar Ramacharita, 
in seven acts describes the story of Uttarakanda of Ramayana. The meeting of Rama and his sons is effected with the aid of the sacred oars or the oar sacrifice, which is pursued by Chandraketu, Lakshmana's son, and checked in its course by Lava and Kucha, who meet their father. The happy reunion between Rama and Sita is effected by the introduction of a small scene, Antarnataka, in the last act. This is an innovative idea by Bhavuti, just like we are looking into a scene in the nowadays in the TV that uh, somebody is looking into the TV inside the TV. So, just like that, the scenes are depicted. That is called Antarnataka. The concept of uh, looking the TV into the TV has been already known, known to them. This drama is more a dramatic poem than a drama. The statement Ekorasa Karnayeva comes from this drama only. The meaning that there is only one sentiment, Bhagavati says, that that is Karuna. There are some more important dramatists. A contemporary of King Kanishka of 1st century AD, Ashwagosha, was a great poet and dramatist. He wrote a Prakarna type of drama, Shari Putra Prakarna by name, in nine acts. It was with, written with a missionary purpose, deals with the conversion of Shari Putra and uh, Mudgalayana into Buddhism. The author has strictly followed all the rules of Sanskrit drama. Then comes Sudraka, a king. He is a dramatist also of a high reputation. In the prologue of his drama, Murchakatika, he says that he learnt the Vedas and other arts through the grace of Lord Shiva and that he lived a life of full hundred years. Murchakatika or clay, clay Court is a drama in 10 acts belonging to Prakarna class. That is, once again, the plot is coined by the poet. It deals with the love of Charudatta, a Brahmin merchant, and the court is on Asadzena. Here, there is unusually large variety of characters and the play is full of comic situations. The plot is beautifully woven with a gripping interest from the beginning, from the very beginning to the end. There is simplicity and graceful style and on the, on the whole, the play is most suited for the stage. The play derives its uh, title from the introduction of the clay court. With regard to Sudraka, I wanted to say some more thing in the sense that the, his drama derived inspiration from Basa also, from the Charudattam written by Basa. Then now we come across Dingnaga. Dingnaga wrote his drama Kundamala dealing with the story of Uttarakhanda of the epic Ramayana. It contains six acts. Sita, who was abandoned helplessly in the forest when she was in the advanced stage of pregnancy, prays to Ganga and promised to worship her daily with a garland of Kunda flower if her prayer for a safe delivery is granted. She keeps her word at the birth of Lava and Kusha. The poet has made many significant changes in the story of the original epic. His style has uh, much of the grace and simplicity. He is assigned to the early 5th century AD. Now, another important uh, dramatist is Vishagadatta, who has written Mudra Rakshasa, consisting of seven acts. It depicts the attempts of Chanakya for compelling Rakshasa, the hereditary minister of the Nandas, to become the minister of Chandragupta Maurya. It is a political drama describing the political tactics of Chanakya. It is the only play in Sanskrit which is completely free from the sentiment of love. The play is unique in many respects and there is no woman character in this drama. Visakadatta is assigned to 5th century AD. Then Mahendra Varman regarding whom we have already seen while we were discussing about uh, uh, the 10 types of Sanskrit dramas. He has written a Prakasana type of drama in which he has uh, uh, degraded the condition of life led by adherence of Buddhism and Kapalika and Pashupata sects of Saivism. Now, another poet, Patranarayana, who belongs to 7th century AD, is the author of Venisamara, a drama in six acts describing the events in the Mahabharata war leading to the tying up of the braid of Draupadi by Bhima. 
Bhima kills Duryodhana and keeps up his word by tying the braid of Draupadi. Hence the title. The play abounds in heroic sentiments and over-labored in techniques. In this drama, all the important episodes of the Sabha Parva to Sauptika Parvas of Mahavartha are compressed in six acts. Shaktibhadra of Malabar, belonging to the 8th century AD, wrote his drama Acharya Chudamani in seven acts. According to the tradition, the author was a pupil of Shankara, the great philosopher. The plot deals with the story of Ramayana with many considerable changes. In the prologue, he tells that he is the first dramatist from South India. The title of the play is derived from a miracular crest, Chudamani, which was given to Rama and Sita by the hermits. Making use of it, Rama and Sita saved themselves from being deceived by the felicitous, a fictitious Rama, Sita and Lakshmana created by Ravana. Adbhutarasa is the predominant sentiment. The play has many points of structural similarity with the plays of Basa. Now, we will see about Murari. He is the author of the drama Anargaragava. As he quotes a verse from Bhavupati Sutaram Jarita, he is assigned to early part of 9th century AD. His Anargaragava in seven acts deals with the story of Ramayana with some variations. The plot follows that of Mahavira Jarita of Bhavupati. He even repeats the devices used by Vavabhuti while making Ravana a disappointed suitor of Sita and employing the services of Surpanaka to bring about the banishment of Rama. Unlike the original, he makes his play a open battle between Rama and Valin, probably to enrich the characters of Rama. The style is artificial. The poet reveals no originality either in the plot, construction or in his treatment of it. In spite of these defects, the play is applauded for the depth in thought. Then comes Rajashekara, who belonged to the 10th century AD, who wrote four dramas, Karpur Manjari, Bala Ramayana, Bala Bharata and Vidyasala Panjika. His Karpur Manjari in four acts describes the marriage of King Chandapala with Princess Karpur Manjari. His Bala Ramayana, a huge drama in ten acts, also called Mahanataka, which deals with the story of Ramayana. The love of Ravana to Sita is predominant feature of the play. His act of carrying away Sita is accounted for as a revenge as he was disappointed in winning the hand of Sita. His Vidyasala Bajjika, a Natika in four acts written on the model of Kalidasa's Malavika Krimitra, describes the love of Vidyadara Malla and Kole Mala. The title of the play is due to the introduction of the Salabanjika, a wooden statue of the heroine, at the sight of which the love of the hero towards princess is intensified. His Balabharata or Prapancha Pandava is an incomplete drama dealing with the story of Mahabharata. Only two acts of this play is available, in which Pandava's marriage with the Draupadi, the loss of kingdom by the game of dice and the exile of Pandavas into the forest are described. Then comes Bilkhana. Following the trend of the story described in Malavika Krimitram Ratnavali, Bilkhana, the Kashmirian poet of 11th century AD, wrote his Karnasundari in four acts. It describes the marriage of the Chalukya king Karnadeva with Karnasundari, a Vidyadara princess. Vamana Bhattabana is another dramatist. He describes the wedding of Lord Shiva and Parvati in his Parvati Parneya. The author is much indebted to Kalidasa's Kumar Sambhava both for his expression and ideas. It has been wrongly attributed to Banavatta by someone. Then comes Jayadeva of 13th century, the author of the drama Prasanna Raghava. He is different from Jayadeva of Gita Govinda. In seven acts, the drama describes the story of Ramayana with some variations. He was both a logician and alankarika and has contributed to those branches of Sanskrit literature also. His Chandraloka is a famous Alankara work in 10 chapters. Next, the drama Prasanna Raghava is on the model of Mahavira Charita Bhavupati. The demon Bana is made in addition to Ravana as a rival suitor for the hand of Sita. In the last act, a Vidyadara couple described the Rama-Ravana fight ending with Sita's purification fire. His style 
is rather harsh and laboured. Long verses and long descriptions abounding in this play make it very undramatic. Nilakanta Dishtha of 17th century AD, who has contributed to the different branches of Sanskrit literature, wrote his drama Nalacharitha Nataka. Drama is left unfinished with six acts. The drama describes the story of Nala found in the Vanaparva of Mahabharata. His style in Sivil Lilarnava, a Mahakabya, is simple, while the drama is full of long compounds, as in his Champu. Now, the very important factor of the drama happens to be allegorical dramas. Even from the early period, there had been growing a tendency on the part of poets and scholars to personify inanimate objects and personal qualities. The abstract qualities so personified came to play the role or characters in the drama. The purpose of such personification is to teach certain philosophical doctrines. Such dramas are called allegorical dramas. Prabodha Chandrodaya of Krishna Mishra and Sankalpa Suryodaya of Vedanta Desika are the two important dramas belonging to this class. This uh, author of Prabodha Chandrodaya, Krishna Mishra, who belonged to 11th century AD, wrote this work for the propagation of Advaita system of philosophy. In six acts, he has written that. There is a war between Viveka and Mahamoha. It is put an end by the rise of the moon in the form of knowledge. Moon is uh, directly conveyed as uh, Prabodha. The author reveals poetic skill of a high order. In the art of combining the abstruse topics of Vedanta with the dramatic technique, he shows great originality. The author has certainly rendered a valuable service to the cause of philosophy though the, uh, through the medium of this drama. When Sankalpa Suryodhya, in support of Vizista Dvita philosophy, it is uh, finally said that uh, people were very much enamored of uh, Advaita system having observed or having seen Sankalpa Suryodhya because it is a drama which could attract more people than reading the philosophy directly. So, seeing people started believing in the system of Advaita, Vedanta Desika appears to have written this uh, Sankalpa Suryodaya, just vying with each other. The title itself will show that uh, Chandrodayam and Suryodaya. He says Suryodaya. So, when the sun appears, the moon will fade away. So, keeping that in mind, his drama will just erase the thoughts of Advaita philosophy from the public. He wrote that Sankalpa Suryodaya, the lives of the fraudulent and the haughty people are vividly exposed in this drama. Shantarasa is the predominant sentiment of the play. The play is written on the model of Prabodha Chandrodaya, because uh, though he has written on uh, Visita Advaita philosophy, the inspiration comes from, uh, from Krishna Mishra only, and he has written this work based on his model. From the literary point of view, the play is very dull, though the author's profundity of knowledge is forced or found to advantage. The prologue is too long and in many ways it is undramatic, but the book is very helpful to understand the philosophy of Visistadvita through the easy medium of literature. Then Anandaraya Maki, the minister of the Maratha king Sarfoji I and Tukoji, during the 18th century, wrote two allegorical dramas. His Vidya Parinaya represents the marriage of Jivatman or individual soul with Vidya or spiritual knowledge. His second allegorical drama, Jivananda, describes the attainment of the highest bliss or moksha by the soul. Chaitanya Chandrodaya. There is another work by Karnapura, who is also called as Paramananda Dasa of 16th century who wrote to explain the Bhakti doctrine propagated by Sri Krishna Chaitanya of Bengal. So, his Chaitanya Chandrodhya is also an allegorical drama in 10 acts. Then lastly, you have got one more allegorical drama called Bhavana Purushottama. The author happens to be Ratnaketa Srinivas Dikshita, who was patronized by the Nayak kings of Tanjavur. So, he wrote this Bhavana Purushottama in 16th century describing the doctrine of Advaita once again. So, thus, we have got number of writers 
in Sanskrit drama. And each one has contributed beautifully the thoughts of uh, either the epics or their own imaginations. And uh, the important thing is that the allegorical drama to propagate the philosophies are highly appreciable in Sanskrit literature. The allegorical dramas, though they appear to be fighting with each other in concept, all the three appear to be very, very inter interesting. The Rahu Grastodaya, which I was referring to, there is an anecdote. That after uh, Prabodha Chandrodaya was written, Jayan Deshika has written Sankalpa Suryodaya in order to fade away the moon. Chandra means moon and Surya means sun. So he wrote Suryodaya in order to fade away the moon. And uh, from the Madhva sect, there arose a Nataka called Rahu Grastodaya. His intention of the author was that Rahu will catch both the sun and the moon. Thereby, he wanted to establish the uh, Dvaita philosophy. With these informations, we come to the end of this uh, dramatic literature in Sanskrit. Thank you.